Hey, what's up? This is Chris. And Angelica Lumia with Pacific Group Video. We got Mr. Leon Henderson from. That Canada. is cool, Leon. I'm sorry. Cool, Leon. Yeah. yeah. Hot Leon. What's going on, Pacific Rim? How y'all doing? We good. We good. So is that? I'm so, doing it right. Shocker. Uh, what? What? Five minutes later, what? No, I'm just playing. All right, so unfortunately the world is going to see some sad sad stuff tonight. So how are you feeling? This is, the, well, basically like the day or two after, like what, you know, are you going to miss it? Are you happy? Like what? what's going on through your head? Well, I mean, yesterday was the hardest day for all of us. Uh, we had to deal with, you know, coming home and unpacking and, and basically just like going through the whole like process of dealing with the whole emotional, uh, it was just hard. It was really hard for us yesterday, but we have to, we as a crew have to understand that it's a show, it's a TV show, you know what I mean? And we had a, we went as hard as we could and we brought a lot to the table. We definitely made an impact on ABDC and in the world. So there's no regrets at all. We're just happy to, that we made it as far as we did and we just can't wait to come back for the finale and you know, do it again, so. What's the one thing that you personally take away, take, take with you from the show? One thing I think I'm gonna, I take from the show is that don't ever take it take it for granted because the minute you do that is the minute things kind of go as they did. Um, not saying that we did that, but just in general because I saw a lot of crews do that. And um, another thing is, you know, really just work hard. Like one thing is with the show is that you have to work really hard and we put in a lot of work and as the other crews did and you know, it was one of those things that just happened, you know, it just, it's TV, so. And is it killing you that next week is Usher week and you guys are like, come on. That, that, that was our biggest thing because we knew that this week we were, gonna, we were gonna shut it down and we knew that next week with Usher week, we were definitely gonna shut it down. So knowing that we, we could have had two back-to-back -back performances that were just flawless was like, that was another hard part to deal with because it was just one of those situations where we knew that Usher was our, that was our, like, our stuff, you know what I mean? And, it is what it is. So. But you know what's great though about your crew is that you guys were known as the Groovin Crew, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, at least for future, you know, when people look back on the show season five, they're gonna be like, Heavy Impact was the Groovin Crew. Definitely, and, that, and honestly, we appreciate that because we definitely appreciate dance and grooves, and we definitely just wanna keep it going, keep it, keep it flawless, keep it, keep Heavy Impact. You know what I mean? And we're gonna be going on. We're just not the end of Heavy Impact. And breaking stereotypes. Of course, we're gonna we. That's our biggest thing, inspiring the world, and we have, we definitely have. Thank you, fans, for all the, thank you, fans, for all the messages, all the support, love. We love you guys all. And you know, they tell you, okay, you guys are the grooving crew, like you guys are so good at just slowing it down, grooving and stuff. And then each week they have a challenge where you can't groove. Did that drive you crazy? Where you're like, wait a second, you love what we do, but then you're making us do all this stuff that we can't even like. That's not even our strong suit. Um, it wasn't that. It was mostly like we had the challenge and we knew what we had to do and we just wanted to do it to, the, to our best abilities and I think we definitely showed that on stage. So It wasn't taken from our groove at all. I mean, our groove is our groove, but we can always sit in our groove and we like the challenge to try new things and try, you know, different styles and, you know, that's our thing, so. Right. Well, where do you see Heavy Impact next? Like, what, what do you guys have in store? Um, more performances. We definitely have workshops coming up. Um, we really want to keep going and inspiring the world and doing what we do and keep, keep our groove, you know what I mean, and keep making that impact on people.